Hello and welcome. My name is Anastasia Zatula and today is an interesting subject. Today I'm going to talk about what you should expect in a relationship from a man. Now I always talk that there shouldn't be no expectations, that there should be standards. So let's see what your expectations, what healthy expectations are in the relationship. And I'm going to, uh, to discuss in this video. Now, in the next video, I will tell you what are my personal expectations in a relationship. Maybe this will give you uh, some light. Maybe you will, uh, uh, you will get inspired by my expectations in the relationship. Everybody will have different, um, different expectations. But for this particular video, these expectations are a must. Every woman should have these particular expectations. Again, these are not an expectations, these are more like standards. Standards for a healthy energy exchange between a man and a woman. I will also make another video uh, what a man should expect in a relationship. What would be a healthy kind of exchange uh, of energy in the relationship when a man is getting what he should be getting from a woman. And this is not cooking, cleaning and, <laughs> and all that stuff. You will be surprised. So. Let's get into this. This, uh, this would be interesting, um, interesting subject and uh, somewhat interesting topic. Maybe you can see that uh, you are mistaken um, in certain ways uh, um, in your relationship. Now, let me, let me make it clear. I'm a Reiki master, an NLP master, and uh, I also study Tantra, study systemic approach. So I'm telling you how it should be ideally in a relationship. Now, whatever you have in your relationships is up to you and if it's working for you uh, just just stick to it but if you feel like there is something off that the um, either you or your partner are not happy and you want to make some kind of changes you do want to you do want to see whether um, whether something could be changed something could be maybe adjusted something could be um, could be done better then maybe this video is for you again I'm giving you the ideal picture doesn't mean I live according to it but for the most part, let me see. Yeah, for the most part, I receive all of this, um, all of this, um, all of these expectations from men. Why? Because I see, um, I see all of them as an um, as a must in a in a healthy energy exchange. Now, I already have a video about healthy energy exchange between uh, a man and a woman. I'm going to put it in the description, but. This is um, this is a little um, a little more than just that video. Okay, so five things you should expect in a relationship as a woman. I'm talking about the relationship between a man and a woman, a feminine woman and a masculine man. Traditional kind of <laughs> traditional um, a traditional relationship. The first thing you need to um, to expect is a material support. Even if you have all the money in the world let's say you're a trust baby, maybe you, your parents left you a lot of money, even if you have, um, I don't know, maybe you made money yourself and you're like a boss lady that have, uh, have a good, um, uh, good savings, a good investment portfolio, this is all good. But a material support from a man is a, is a must, it's a standard. Now, it doesn't mean that the man is going to give you um, what you used to, but he has to provide uh, the basics. So he has to give you food, some kind of um, some kind of housing. <laughs> uh, need to make sure that your um, that your health is taken care of. So he need to give you um, financial support, uh, material support, to make sure that you live up to your standards. Now again, um, if you are if you are like a super wealthy and you fell in love with the man who is. Um, who is not as wealthy, who is not on your, on your level, then I would start looking into that. Why are you attracting a man like this to start with? Are you, you don't believe that you, can, um, that you can have it all? Like, what's the problem here? But the, the man will provide according to his, um, um, to, to his understanding. Now, he will be uh, striving to get better, to get you to your standard. But as of right now, he will get you what, uh, what he can. So as I already um, uh, spoke about this before, I was, um, I was socializing with this man and he, he told me um, that he would love to live with me. He actually would love to marry me. But besides the point, he asked me to move in with him, uh, but over the beach. So I live uh, on the beach in Miami and he... He said I could not really, uh, it would be really tight for me to pay that much, uh, uh, that amount 
I'm saving for a house, I want to buy property, this and this. So he asked me to move in inland and um, he promised to take a huge apartment and this and this. But at that point, I didn't understand why should I change my, my beautiful life or maybe not as beautiful as, uh, as, uh, as it would have been. I don't know. But the whole point is that if I really wanted to be with that man, I could have, um, I should have probably moved in with him and I should probably um, set my expectations that in a year I expect to be back on the beach or something like that. Uh, but it is up for, uh, it's a man who is providing all this. So the man provides um, enough for your, um, for your comfortable living, so to say. So he has to provide you with the food with the roof, um, take care of your health and uh, take care of, uh, of any needs that, um, um, that ensure your survival, so to say. Again, no matter how much money you have, you are not the one who is providing this. You will emasculate the man if you will start providing with that. So keep your money to yourself, spend it in charities. I mean, don't, don't put your man down like that. I mean, unless you want just a, a jiggle. <laughs> I mean, don't do that. Don't don't put him down. He will feel he will feel like he is never enough uh, for you. So uh, spend your money for the charities. I mean, I don't know, help others, buy yourself something. Um, I I don't know, do whatever you want. But it is a man who should provide you with um, uh, with material support. Now, if you um, when he's providing you the material support, the man feels. Um, needed, powerful, and he feels like somewhat a hero in your life. Yes, of course, he's not giving you a private plane yet, but at least he's uh, he's good enough to provide you with uh, with food and uh, uh, and bed, <laughs> um, and that's um, that's already makes him uh, make him feel somewhat good. And you will start admiring him. You will start admiring that the man is actually spending money on you, um, and the, he's spending on to his best abilities. I mean, I'm telling you. I was on on both sides, and and I admired the man very much when um, uh, when he was uh, when he was uh, when he was providing that. Yeah, it was not much. It was uh, um, rent and um, you know grocery shopping, but still, it was very uh, very important for me. I felt very great, and I admired him a lot. Um, now, the second thing that you should expect in the in the relationship is security. Both of these are basically a man is um, is giving you on the first on the first uh, energy center. What kind of security? Now you'll say, well, we live in a rather safe society. We don't uh, <laughs> we don't need a, a knight in uh, in shining armor. Yes, you don't. But you need to feel with your man like you're behind a, like a, a wall. You should feel very secure. Remember, a woman is a um, is a creator, and you could not create if you don't feel secure. You it will be it will be rather hard for you to um, to create if you don't feel if you don't feel good. So a man has to provide you with that security. Now sometimes the security comes from even securing from himself so a woman not necessarily that you're walking on the street and you feel like you're threatened and you need your man to kind of to come in and rescue you no it's not always like this sometimes it's maybe um you feel like um um like uh, you guys don't have enough savings and you need to make sure that he he puts in uh, some money into savings account and checking account so you don't need to worry you see it's not necessarily a physical security it's more like uh, somewhat mental security it's um, you need to feel secure with him in all aspects of your life so uh, whenever he's home you know that um, you shouldn't be feeling like awkward or you shouldn't feel like uh, like you're threatened or anything like that you shouldn't feel like if he will drink a little more you will feel like he can harm you something like that it, there shouldn't be no uh, no indication that you are somewhat afraid or worried uh, about him or when you are around him or about anything to tell the truth when he is in your life. So for example, you, you're going to work because you know that you could not lose your job and you basically, you hate going there, but you still need to go because you need the money. Now, when you're with the man, you shouldn't go to, you shouldn't do nothing like that. You shouldn't do nothing that doesn't give you pleasure. A man should technically tell, listen, 
Um, if you want to go, if you want to work, you can work. If not, then don't work. You know, you will find something better. But you shouldn't force yourself to do something if you are with the man. You should feel like very secure, no matter no matter where, no matter with. Like if you guys are going to uh, to visit France or to go meet with his family or your family, you also should feel secure. You should know that uh, nobody will speak nothing. You sh- nobody will um, will put you down. Um, like. You really need to feel with him like you're behind a, a wall, a wall that protects you from anything and everybody. Uh, and um, and this is important. Now again, uh, it doesn't mean uh, like if you are if you are married to I'm not sure a gangster. Maybe he needs to to hire you some kind of bodyguards or some who will who will protect you, who will create security for you. But in the majority of the cases, this is an everyday situations, and this everyday situations is basically. Um, a woman uh, thinking, I will have enough to pay for the mortgage this month, or uh, do we have enough for me to ask for a present for Christmas, or something like that. And this situation shouldn't be coming up. Uh, this is the security that a woman should feel with the man. So, yes, a man might not have enough money to buy her a Christmas present, but she shouldn't be afraid to ask him for it, or she shouldn't be afraid to express her wish, and um, and he can tell her, listen, maybe not now, but I will keep that in mind, or something like that. So. She should feel secure at all times. When a woman feels secure, her femininity flourishes and uh, she starts to create. Now, uh, ideally, a feminine woman will never attract a man that does not provide security. That would never happen. But again, since we're all on the journey to become more feminine, it could happen. And if you don't, uh, if you don't feel secure with the man, um, then maybe he's not a man for you. Like uh, a few years ago, I was uh, we were driving with this guy. We were driving to another town. We just wanted to go and see another city. And basically, he was driving, and uh, at one point, like it was really dark and there was no lights on the roads. I'm not sure. We were just in the middle of Pennsylvania somewhere, and he basically started like, um, um, "I'm scared to drive in this dark." I'm like, "You must be joking." <laughs> so I got under the wheel and I didn't even have my contacts, and I was just driving basically. Um, to get us home because I was tired, he was tired and he was like a little baby at that moment. So what I want to say is I didn't feel secure with the man. He should have kind of overcame his his fears, his kind of tiredness or anything and found a solution. He could have said, listen, let's stop in some hotel and uh, spend the night there. You know, those hotels are rather cheap. Two rooms would be like $140 or whatever. Um, and, uh, and in the morning, we will go back to New York, something. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, I didn't felt, feel secure because he didn't have a solution at that moment for, for the issue that arose. And, uh, and this is the indicator. You see, nothing was threat- nobody was threatening me. It was not like some kind of issue that, uh, um, that threatened my life. But I still didn't feel secure with him because he... Um, created the problem he indicated that there is a problem but he didn't provide a solution for it and i had to kind of step in and uh, and solve it the best i i thought it would be would be good so i basically drove us to um to to my my place and i you know i get out and i didn't really care what he would be doing after what i want to say is that that's uh, that's how you need to feel secure with the man so with the man if you're with the man in a relationship you should feel like um he will always come up with some kind of solution for any problem he will always protect you and um, children, I mean, from anything. So if you live in a not very nice neighborhood, you know that your man has enough reputation to keep you guys safe. So you know that you will not be targeted, so to say, if you're living in such, a, in such area or something. Um, you know that your man is strong enough um, to procure some kind of uh, resources, a job. I mean, if he's not very wealthy, that you will, you will be okay with him, you see? Uh, you know that uh, you are secure with him, that you can speak your mind. I mean, not disrespect, but you can speak and not be scared for your life with him or with, for your well-being. Um, this is where the security comes from. If he does not know how to provide the security, he should be able to find the resources. So, for example, um, let's imagine, um, um, I'm not sure, your shower broke down and your man is not a plumber, so he doesn't know how to do it. But you are not the one who is solving this issue. He's basically um, calling some company and, and getting help to, to solve this issue. You feel secure. You know that he will find a solution for, for this problem at, the, at this moment. This is what security is. It's not about 
um, fighting your <laughs> your nightmares or um, or fighting unwanted admirers when you guys are somewhere in public yeah that that's also but uh, it's mostly the security of everyday life you see yeah, you go out and somebody is making a comment and somebody maybe becomes a little <laughs> too friendly with you yeah your man will step in and kind of and push him um, push him back but this is this doesn't happen very often now the situations like um, like I described uh, prior do happen very often when you when you are not sure I mean are we okay for this month or we're not um, are we going to buy a house or not you know and and a woman should have a standard of expecting that from a man of expecting that security that level of security from her man now the third thing that a woman should expect from a man is space and usually uh, this is not a problem to get from a man because men are usually masculine and they do um, their life is too uh, like too eventful they usually do something they usually occupy themselves with other things so it's not like they will be on your back all the time but there are men that are not as masculine i have the sun right on me there are men that are not very masculine and they expect a woman um they expect to spend a lot of time with the woman to like uh, to spend the whole weekend with the woman and and this is obviously um not what we're striving for this is it would be wrong a woman needs space now you can give a man um a particular amount of energy but at one point no it's even worse but at one point he will have to back up for you to uh to replenish that energy and uh, and um um, and have the space to create to replenish energy to nurture your creations to have your own um, you know your own life going on so to say um, e there is nothing wrong in in um, expecting space again look i'm uh, i'm loved by men very much you know and they love my energy very much i'm very feminine i have this this clean energy men love that but if i will not put the boundaries i mean what will happen out of me <laughs> like you you could not allow um a man exhaust you because if he will there will be nothing to give him anymore and i saw couples like this i saw that they are like hand in hand together all the time they go here they go there they, they do everything together and at one point the woman is like all oh, she's dry she has nothing to give anymore you know she's not interesting because she has no life um her man is uh, is not masculine because he's all over her all the time you know it's like they're they're inseparable they it's it's a little too much you, you shouldn't be like this nobody should be like this so the expectation is that uh you spend with the man only 25 percent of your time of your um living time so not when you're sleeping um and the rest 75 percent of your time you spend with other things this would keep your relationship healthy and uh, please do watch um, um, four rules um, for a woman or something like that. I will put this that um, that video in in the description here too. You must expect uh, space, uh, and the, and this should be normal. Again, if a man will be like, oh, but I need your attention. Yes, but you have my attention. You know, it's not you are not a, a paid a entertainer for this man. You are a, your own person, and to be interesting, you need to you need to have your own space. All right. Another thing that you should expect from a man. Oh, um, I also wanted to add about the space. I put it here. Woman operates in pleasure and comfort, and to be in pleasure and comfort, she needs to stay within herself. A man, especially masculine energy, they are very chaotic, very loud, very uh, somewhat aggressive. They are selfish, and it's normal for them. And they take and take and take. You know, for a woman to replenish, to create, she needs to spend time by herself in ideal relationship a man will take go um do something then he will come back again you know take again uh, go do something bring her something take again like this it's 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 normal it's nothing nothing wrong with that but in a not ideal relationship the couple sometimes become like um like like too inseparable <laughs> it's not normal um so the the next one is respect a woman in the relationship should expect and her standard should be um to have respect from a man 
this is actually something that both um, both men and women should expect in their life um, now fortunately for me I never really saw a man disrespect any woman in my life so my parents my father respected my mom very much my grandparents also respected them, you know each other very much so my aunts my uncles I mean maybe even if they had some kind of disagreements uh, it was behind the closed door so I was not uh, I didn't see nothing like I didn't grow up like that but once I grew up I start seeing a real <laughs> real disrespect in the world one of those were our neighbors and I already mentioned her many times her husband would beat her up periodically and she would love this so much I mean um, like she would disrespect him for so so long like she would be begging for this and then he would um, he would basically be violent with her she would come down for a week and then she would start again I don't know I think I don't think I know it was their kind of uh, game and they enjoyed that game why didn't they involve all the, all the neighbors I'm not sure and they were a quite respectable family it's not like they were some kind of um, some kind of abusers or something I mean they were a pretty respectable family but this was happening all the time in their life so what I want to say is again because there was no respect she didn't respect him much he didn't respect her much and um, and they were just like uh, going back and forth with that so a woman should respect um, um, a woman should be expected to be respected now in some societies a woman is a woman's role is not that important it's not very um, it's not maybe taken as seriously I hope this is not true but uh, but I do sometimes see it um, most of men do realize how important a woman is a woman gives him the pleasure the energy she creates uh, kids for for him so it's not uh, it's not often that the man would disrespect the woman that means something to him uh, but it does but it does happen and if it does happen in your life you need to make sure that the man kind of uh, know um, how far he can cross that border you see it, it is it is crucial like i always say um ideal relationship is when a man and a woman don't get too comfortable with each other because when you get too comfortable with another person you become um, uh, you can become almost somewhat disrespectful you see like um and like me for example i'm a nice person i'm very um very empathetic and sometimes people take my niceness again for um, um like they feel like they could be too much themselves with me and i don't like that i i really don't like the same as i don't like this sound okay let's see maybe this would be better yeah it's better um and i really don't like it i don't like when people are taking advantage of uh, of me just making them comfortable um in my presence so ideally you with the man should not get uh comfortable to the point that he starts disrespecting you for example um i knew this couple um i really they were not my favorite couple but i was i was somewhat working with the woman um was working um, before even my finance career and uh, and I basically was um, you know was kind of was around them all the time and I noticed how her husband was disrespecting her um, was for no reason and she was expecting it and she was accepting it as normal so at one point I basically I brought it up and I said why do you and she's like what do you mean and I said well look he he puts you down in front of your friends and, and it's normal Oh, she's like um i never thought about this i mean my you know my parents this, uh, like uh, talk the same way and they never bothered my mom and i said yeah but uh, you know but but doesn't it bother you that your man thinks like this so he would uh, he would make like some belittling remarks about her like i even felt bad i mean and i am like a complete stranger so what i want to say is that this is unacceptable and this is uh, and your standard should be um um of expecting respect from another person if you if you're cooking dinner a man should appreciate this and, and kind of respect and um you know and maybe saying thank you or maybe wash offer to wash dishes or something i mean if you don't have a, a dishwasher or uh, i mean there must be a level of respect or if for example you are um um if you are talking to your parents right he would not interfere 
um, if you don't want him to interfere. Something so the they still you see we're connecting with the man only on 25%. The rest of 75% is our own, and and the man has to there should be enough respect not to kind of overcross those borders. Uh, women also uh, cross those borders. Like for example, people that check each, each other's phones. I mean, I mean. <laughs> There's no talk of respect. I don't know what could happen to a man in my life that he will check my phone. What are you trying to find there? <laughs> if you want to find something, I will give you a reason to, to look through that phone. But I just don't... Like, it's absolutely... It's like a complete stranger in a cafe will just come and just start looking at my phone. I mean, I would be, I would be pretty worried. So it should not happen. You need to expect respect and, uh, and he should expect respect. Um, it's, it's just... It's a standard, you see? It's a standard. Like if you are with your friends, will your friends take your phone and start just browsing through it? No, they wouldn't because they have a particular level of respect to you and you would not allow yourself to do the same thing. Like if you are you know, with your coworkers, would you allow yourself to do it? No, you won't. So a man in your life should not do it either. You need to expect um, respect from, from a man. Now, if you don't know what respect is, that's a different um, kind of conversation. But if you know what respect is and the man is not giving it to you, then it's either you didn't communicate yourself right or your borders are, are not there or uh, you are so much afraid to lose him that you are willing to put up with this, uh, with this nonsense. So uh, make, sure, um, make sure do expect. Even if a man is supporting you, even if a man is providing for you, you, sh you still should um, expect respect. And I'm not talking about uh, him flirting with other women or cheating or something. That's a little different, um, obviously disrespectful, but still. Um, I'm talking about uh, like everyday thing, everyday. <laughs> you know, like uh, if you don't have a cleaning lady and the man is just basically um, expected, expecting you to clean up after him, him that's, uh, that's a little awkward, I would say. <laughs> so... Mm, um you you need to do something about this basically nobody can a woman should have a, a center of, of respect it would be very hard for you to to create and live uh, and develop in your life if you don't have respect from the closest person in your life um and that's your man and the fifth uh the fifth thing that you should expect from your man is the support of your ideas and creation now because a woman is a creator in a couple a woman should have a complete okay um, uh, to create. So we um, we connect with men for one particular reason, to procreate, to continue life, so to say. Otherwise, we wouldn't be together. That's why men and women are so attracted to each other, because their life needs to continue. And, um, and this is the only reason why we're really connecting. Even though you might not agree with me, this is the only reason that we're connecting then because we have mind and we have our some kind of brain we kind of uh, we develop we maybe create something else not necessarily children maybe we create some kind of projects maybe a life together maybe we create a particular um, um like a social circle or maybe we create a, something a, some kind of business that will benefit others it doesn't have to be kids but we both create we connect where a woman brings her energy a man brings his security we combine it together, we have to create something big. You see, we, have, we both have power, we combine the power, we need to create something, otherwise we will start um, destroying each other. So, uh, because it's a woman who creates, a man has to be supportive of her ideas. For example, how it could look in a, in a, in a real life. Um, a woman wants to have a child and a man is like, no, it's not the time. <laughs> or a woman wants to... Uh, to paint uh, to paint the house pink and the man is like no uh, no this is terrible or a woman wants to um, um, to buy herself something new to look kind of cute to and the man is like no we're, um, we're on a budget <laughs> I mean bring your bring your your own examples but there are really a lot so a woman uh, a feminine woman is like a child that wants to explore she wants to do things she wants to she doesn't see the borders you see it's good to have particular borders like for example um, a woman wants to have 16 kids and the man is like listen you know maybe 16 is too much let's kind of let's start with one and then see where we're going so the man provides uh, provides this um, um, these borders of how far her creation can go 
uh, but he is not blocking her to create. Um, I, this is something I knew a lot. I know a lot of couples that are basically a man is blocking a woman to do something just because he doesn't feel secure about what she's uh, wanting to do. And kids are the biggest example. Very often I feel like a woman is ready to have a child and uh, a man is like, no, I could not. This, it doesn't happen to every woman. Usually it happens to women that are somewhat afraid to be a mother or somewhat afraid to, to have a child. Um, now, ideally it should be like this. It should, it should be unspoken. So I am with the man, I give him the energy, he gives me the security and we kind of, the baby comes out naturally on its own. But I understand that we live in, in a different society right now and you kind of have to pre-plan everything. You need to, to speak about, uh, about w what's happening next. And, uh, uh, and a man should not be, if a man is with the woman, he's f for a particular reason. Um, and if, she f if there is a baby coming, if she feels like she wants to have a child with this man, because um, you don't really want to have a child with every man, he should be okay with that. He should, and you should, you, should be, um, you should be fine to have this standard. Now, if you live with the man that doesn't want to have kids with you, this is a wrong man. <laughs> you need to pack and leave. Or you need to change your perception about yourself. So he will be, um, he will feel honored that you want to bring his child into this life. If you're with the man and he does not support your creation, he will block your development. Now ask yourself why you're with this man. Or for example, you, you decide that you are going to be a designer. And from now on, you're just basically designing clothes for your friends or you like you inspired to be a famous designer and a man is basically laughing off this <laughs> this idea of yours again um it's one thing if he's just joking the kind of uh, like making fun but another thing when he's like no you're not smart enough you're not bright enough you're something like this when he's blocking your creation this man is not for you you will never develop with him he will develop and you will fall and then he will leave you for somebody else so um, the standard should be that a man sees your vision, accepts your creation and supports you in that creation. Even if, um, even if um, that creation is not in the plan for him. Ideally, a feminine woman is so strong that she would sell that vision, she would sell that idea for a man and he will accept it. He will be like, yeah. You know, let's have a kid. I always wanted to have a kid, even, even if he never thought about this. This is how it should be. But if you are not that strong in your energy, if, you have, if your femininity is not that strong, um, then uh, don't be with the man that blocks your creation. If a man, yeah, even put here, if a man doesn't support your creation, then pro you probably don't believe in your vision or you don't believe in that you can create. Look, I will tell you, um, I mentioned a long time ago, but I will tell you, I was dating this guy. He was much younger than me. He was like eight years younger than me. So he was very young. I was in my early 30s and he was in his early 20s, I guess. Um, and uh, at that moment, I was like fixed on the idea that I need to have a kid. I don't know why it was, where it was coming, but it was coming. I think I was influenced, but still, I wanted to have a kid. And, um, and I basically was telling him, I want to have a child. So he came to me when, and he was saying, I'm too young. I don't want to have a kid and I'm not established. I don't want to have a child. And I told him, then don't waste my time because I want to have a child. I had a very strong vision and I was very confident about my vision. So a um, couple of weeks passed by and he's like, well, you know, we can consider it, blah, 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 this and that. So he was okay with my vision at this moment. Now, um, because I was still kind of, is he the right man? I mean, he's so much younger. He really is not very established. Uh, because I was, um, I was not confident in, um, in choosing him, the right, whether he's the right person or not. His relatives and friends that kind of attacking me, you're much older, eight years only, but still. Um, he's, uh, he's going to, um, you know, he's not ready for the child and all this. Long story short, I did want to have a kid with him. I was, uh, you know, um, we were somewhat trying, but again, I didn't feel secure, so I didn't get pregnant. But uh, at one point I left him, you know, I was like kind of done. 
<laughs> and uh, and he went back to his ex-girlfriend and he got her pregnant at this like the same month he came back to her i sold him the vision and he was so sold on the vision that he decided that it's time for him to have a child you see he was ready to have the child with me but i was uh, you know i already <laughs> lost interest in my vision with him and then um, and basically um I, i guess i'm happy that it didn't happen but what i want to say is that i was i believed in my vision so much that he changed his um his ideas and he started supporting me he started supporting me and even when i'm when we separated uh the vision was so strong in him that he basically sold it to his to his uh his girlfriend and they they had a baby they well till now they have a child i guess um so but if you are not strong enough like me then don't be with the man that is blocking your your creation don't be if a man doesn't want to have a kid with you whatever he's telling you over there we need to uh we need to save more money we need to buy a new house we need this we you know you need to you need to check your health uh this is not a man for you he will not help you to he will block you every single time now why you attracted this man is a different story are you so not sure about yourself that you need somebody to tell you that you are not uh that you're not good enough to be a designer or you're not strong enough to be a mother i mean um wh- why are you attracting um, this particular man into your life so but it should be a standard you should expect it a man should be okay with whatever you want to do if you want to start taking tennis lessons uh he would be like all for it if you want to um um if you want to spend two hours meditating he should be like okay i will put the tv down or something you mean a man should be supportive of uh, of a woman's creation and ideas i actually know a couple um they're seriously conscious seriously work and i mean the man is feminine but he's inspired to be masculine so much that he does everything by by the rule and his whole goal in life is to keep his wife um happy in pleasure and in creation so she can do anything she wants and he will support um and so far they're doing really well because he's uh, he's in his masculine role she's in her feminine role even though he's feminine and she's very masculine they were able to reverse and uh, i'm sure th- uh, there is a reason why they're in each other's life they were able to kind of to reverse she is supporting him in growing his masculinity he's supporting her and being more feminine and she is able to do that because he um he's supporting her her search for pleasure and um, her um, you know he's supporting her ideas to create and he's sponsoring all those ideas so it's not like and her ideas are not uh, are not just to to become a designer <laughs> her last idea was to open a, a chain of flower shops all across the globe so people can um, order flowers for the loved ones all around uh, i mean I really don't know why she didn't go through that because I mean you can do that you can just partner with different uh, companies in different countries but anyways that was her her idea and he really supported her he really sponsored all the, that she went through to uh to get I'm not sure why it didn't work out and then but I know he was very supportive of that and um, and if your man is not supportive of your creation the biggest indicator is when you have want to have a kid and he's like no that's like he's blocking your creation this man is not for you or you need to change something in yourself so he will be sold on the idea of the creation um but you should expect that that should be an expectation all right so uh, these are five these are five expectations for every woman in every relationship if you're with the man in the relationship like you really in a relationship you live in with the guy whether you married or not um or even if you're not married you should you still should expect A, like a particular degree of all of this so even if you are just dating a guy you still should expect some kind of material support you guys are going out he's paying maybe he's giving you some money for uh for your maintenance <laughs> or for something else um you should that should be a standard you obviously should expect security i mean if you're going out with the guy he should uh, uh he should come pick you up or he should send you an uber i mean he would not make you take a train to go and meet him in some restaurant um if um he should give you space so he could not occupy um occupy your time 24/7 and text you when you have your own life so he, um and obviously he 
he's expected to give respect even if you are not uh, like uh, if you are not living together the respect should be there so he could not um uh, he could not uh, put you down he could not uh, check your phone he could not expect you to cater to him um and uh, he is uh, the one he's supposed to support your ideas so for example you telling him you're not you're not yet uh, like fully full together you just dating you telling him you know what we should go um uh, we should try this new restaurant they say it's really nice he should be yeah let's do it or you telling him um I would like to do this uh, massage, um, couples massage with you, and you're like, okay, so let's try this. You know, the new experience. He should be open to to your ideas and creations. You, no matter on what stage of um, of your of the dating or relationship you are in, no matter whether you are married forty years and the man is uh, is uh, not respecting you, that's not normal. Doesn't matter that you are forty years together, it's still not normal. You know, um, like. Like, look, let me let me explain something. No matter how how open I am with the man, I'm still respectful of him as a person. So I'm not going to behave in a particular way. Well, I wouldn't even behave like this with myself. Like, if I'm eating, I'm always eating with fork and knife. Um, this is just a standard for me, you know. And I'm expecting a man to also respect me when we're at the table together. I, there is nothing wrong with that, you see. Um, and it doesn't matter how close we are like even with my family i wouldn't behave like this you know i wouldn't be acting as a as a slob just because i'm comfortable with somebody and i expect others to respect me in the same way it comes naturally honestly but if it doesn't come naturally then this is something you need to work on in yourself not with the man but you could not allow somebody to disrespect you or not support you um, whether materially or emotionally because because then you won't be able to develop you see it's it's not uh, it's wrong so um even if you are like let, let's imagine you are you're already kind of a grown-up woman you are not uh, you don't want to create um, kids right so you connected with the man let's, let's imagine you are in your 60s so you connected with the man you start living together and but there is still something that you can create so for example maybe you want to do a particular charity maybe you um like you you feeling uh, <laughs> for the penguins or something you want to create the charity he should be okay uh for you to do that uh or maybe you ideally he should provide you this emotional kind of a support for you to do it for you to create you know when a woman is pregnant a man is there to create in the security and support for her to to carry that baby and uh, and to give birth uh, the same with any kind of project of yours. Now, he doesn't need to nurture your project, but he needs to help you create that project. So, uh, if you need to go, um, like, he, he needs to, to help you to pull all the right strings to create that uh, um, the charity um, project for the penguins. He doesn't need to to work in it but he needs to help you to you know to support you and to help you to create it so to say um and uh, or material support even if you are in your 60s and you both are getting your uh, money from your 401 I, I guess you don't do it in 60s but uh, a little later but still even though you have your own money it's still up to him to, to pay for the you know for your housing and for your groceries obviously um it's up to him so don't um, Otherwise, if he's not doing that, then you just living as friends. That's also good. I mean, you living as companions, that's fine. But if you want a man that you admire, that you look uh, look out for, then then he has to to provide all this. Um, and the security. Obviously, you need to feel secure about the man. I was with the man the, who was older than me, and I didn't feel secure. Uh, not because he was not. Um, it was so funny because he was very tall, he broad shoulders and everything. He had this presence about him. But if there was a problem, he was like lost. And uh, I, uh, I couldn't be in that relationship because it just didn't work for me. I mean, he did not create the security for him and he expected the security from me, for me to provide it. And I was, uh, it was not working for me. I mean, I stayed with him for some time 
um, and uh, we had to go our separate ways because there was no security, only security, you see. Um, everything else was but uh, but the security was not there and i we had to we had to split because i could not live like this i could not live and expect uh, something to happen and no, nobody will be able to solve that issue it's, it wasn't for me um so that's it on this subject please do ask questions if you have questions i think i i made it pretty clear but still if you have questions ask them um uh, next in next video i will tell you the five things that i expect in the relationship uh, again, I am. Uh, besides these five uh, five aspects, I also have my own five aspects that I expect in every relationship with every man, and maybe I will inspire you to um, to have particular expectations that will be only yours, that will make you unique. And then in the next one, I will tell you what a man should uh, should expect in a relationship with the woman. All right, um, that's it. Uh, please do send this video to to those ladies that uh, that will need to that have some kind of issues in relationship that will maybe benefit from this information. Please do like, comment, uh, follow me for more, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Enjoy your day.